chances are you will at least have heard of the dystopian novel 1984 written by George Orwell. But have you ever heard of the dystopian novel called We by Yevgeny Zemyatin? Here I look at how this banned Russian writer influenced an entire generation of dystopian fiction. 1984 was published in June 1949 and takes place in a speculated future, the year 1984, when much of the world is ruled by an autocratic superstate known as Oceana. The story follows government employee Winston Smith, whose job involves the rewriting of history to suit the state's current agenda. In this closed monitored society, there is no escape from the watching eyes of Big Brother, the leader of the state government known as the party, who regularly cause people to disappear if they don't like the look of what you're doing, employing thought police to persecute individuality and independent thinking. Almost 30 years before the publication of 1984, however, Russian writer Yevgeny Zamyatin wrote We. We was reportedly the first work banned by the Soviet Union's censorship board. Ultimately, Zamyatin arranged for We to be smuggled to the West for publication and didn't live to see it eventually published in his own country until 1988. We is set in the distant future and follows the protagonist with the designation D503. People don't have names there. D503 is a spacecraft engineer in one state, a heavily surveilled urban nation where society is run strictly by logic and behaviour is based on formulas and equations outlined by the one state. In this city, citizens are constantly watched by a branch of government known as the Bureau of Guardians, with an all-powerful leader called the Benefactor. So you may see some similarities already. There's a reason why in 1984, we received a Prometheus Award in the Hall of Fame. So let's take a look at where George Orwell might have taken his inspiration. Both We and 1984 build their dystopias in similar ways. Each protagonist lives in a dystopian city where the government uses oppressive surveillance to watch its people, stemming from a paranoia from the state that allowing citizens their own thoughts and individuality would result in civil unrest and the collapse of social order. In 1984, we see this most with the construction of Newspeak, a language that is slowly prohibiting certain words that could lead to independent thought. And in we, this is most evident in the stripping away of people's names, essentially any sort of individuality. Both we and 1984 are ruled by autocratic dictators that are revered like gods, but also may not even exist. Big Brother resides over 1984, and in We, this is the benefactor. The rules of these dystopian cities are maintained by divisions of the secret police, the Bureau of Guardians in We, and the Thought Police in 1984. As well as similarities in the concepts, we can also see similarities in the stories themselves between We and 1984. At a point early on, We's protagonist, D503, becomes entangled with a woman, who at first he's suspicious of, but then falls in love with her. She then inspires him to commit acts of rebellion against the state. In 1984, Winston also becomes entangled with a woman, who at first he's suspicious of, but then he falls in love with her. She then inspires him to commit acts of rebellion against the state. Orwell began 1984 some eight months after he read We in a French translation and wrote a review of it in the Tribune in 1946. Orwell is reported as saying that he was taking it for the model for his next novel. And critics widely accept that 1984 shares so many features with We that there can be no doubt about its debt to it. There are a minority of critics, however, that view the similarities between We and 1984 as purely superficial. Many agree Orwell's novel is both bleaker and more topical than Zamyatin's, lacking an ironic humour that pervades through We. Perhaps it's this unambiguous desolation that has thrust 1984 into the spotlight instead of its predecessor. After all, we call something Orwellian when we're talking about things such as official deception, secret surveillance, misleading terminology, and manipulation of recorded history by totalitarian or authoritarian states. We don't call this Zamyatinian. Some also claim a major difference of 1984 to We is that despite the Soviet Union banning We, 
Wee is actually not a direct criticism of Marxist communism, whereas 1984 is. Some believe Wee is actually a direct comment on government's willingness to oppress certain freedoms of its people in the name of social order. That just happens to also be a symptom of communism. In his review, Orwell praised Wee's intuitive grasp of the irrational side of totalitarianism. While Orwell never openly attributed Wee to having inspired 1984, he did claim that Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, which was written in 1932, must be partly derived from Wee. Huxley, however, rebuffed the claim, saying that he wrote Brave New World, a novel set in a futuristic world state whose citizens are environmentally engineered into intelligence-based social hierarchies, as a reaction to H.G. Wells' utopias, long before he even heard of Wee. Kurt Vonnegut was quoted as saying that in writing Play a Piano in 1952, a story that takes place in a near future society that is almost totally mechanised, eliminating the need for human labourers, he cheerfully ripped off the plot of Brave New World, whose plot had been cheerfully ripped off from Yevgeny Zemyatin's Wii. Other novels that are thought to be influenced by Wii include Ayn Rand's Anthem, William F. Nolan and George Clayton Johnson's Logan's Run, Ursula Le Guin's The Dispossessed, and Vladimir Nabokov's Invitation to a Beheading. I guess all we can really take away from this is that we inspired an entire generation of dystopian fiction to scare the shit out of us. So, thanks Zemyatin. So that's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. Please give a like if you like the content and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Until next time guys, happy reading.